We went to VEPCO corporate headquarters in Richmond and found the utility's new president, William Berry, to be a forthright, knowledgeable, and concerned corporate executive. Berry says he is desperately trying to reduce electric bills, but it won't be easy. As I see it, the price of energy is going to go up. Uh, it's going to continue to go up. It's going to go up faster than the general rate of inflation, whatever that's going to be. Berry says VEPCO will try to bring down energy costs by shifting its energy sources away from expensive oil to coal and nuclear power. And by shifting that mix, we have the opportunity, at least in the near future, of actually reducing our fuel expenses and consequently reducing customer bills. Berry is painfully aware that there is growing opposition to nuclear power, but he feels it is a needed source of energy. To suggest that we can meet our future energy needs and reduce our dependence on imported oil without nuclear is just uh, not facing the real world. We're going to have to have nuclear, particularly on the east coast of the United States. The VEPCO chief exec says if society wants the benefits of nuclear power, such as reduced electric rates, then people will have to be willing to accept the risks associated with it. Barry says VEPCO and the nuclear industry were hurt badly by Three Mile Island and that the utility is just beginning to recover from it. And we were probably affected more adversely than any other utility except uh, the GPU system up in Pennsylvania that are the owners of Three Mile Island because we had our reactors out for a substantial portion of 1979 and are just now getting back to uh, normal operation. According to Barry, if VEPCO continues its nuclear programs and expands its conversion to coal, the utility can fight what he calls the energy culprit, oil. The, the problems that are unique to us and that make us uh, uh, look bad guy by comparison to utilities around us are associated with, with fuel. And so our answer as to what we're doing about it is, is changing the mix of fuel, is to get away from oil. Uh, when we went to oil and late 60s and early 70s, it cost less than coal. When you walk through VEPCO corporate headquarters in Richmond, you get the feeling that everyone is constantly aware of the utility's less than shining image. Even President William Berry acknowledges that the company is not held in the highest esteem. Well, I guess the word image is a little bit bothersome to me. It, 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 uh, it gives you the feeling that we're trying to create an illusion, and that's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to uh, get candid, factual information to our publics uh, uh, as promptly as we, as we can. Barry so, says uh, VEPCO wants consumers to understand what it's doing to try to solve some of the problems, and that's why the utility hired an outside consultant. We got a lot of criticism for that, uh, but that's a case where we've got a problem, and we think we need to put the best resources we have on a problem, and, and that's what we tried to do. One recommendation the consultant made was to end the company's highly criticized advertising program. Although VEPCO did just that, Barry won't rule it out for the future. Another move intended to make the company more efficient is to cut the salaries of the top executives. Uh, what we have tried to do is to take the 150 of our managers who uh, really control the company's purse strings and uh, try to provide them with an incentive program to help uh, us uh, reduce our costs. But if the company has a good year, the salaries will be restored, along with a bonus for doing a good job. Folks here at corporate headquarters are aware that VEPCO is an easy target for politicians. But Barry says when a politician takes a cheap shot at the utility, it sometimes can hurt the consumer more than it can help him. That goes with the territory, is, a, is to expect a few cheap shots. It's bothersome that uh, uh, suggestions such as Delegate McClanahan made the other day uh, gets a lot of uh, coverage, but it has an adverse effect on us, uh, not just on, uh, on, it, on me personally, it's bothersome to me, but it has an effect on the financial community. It has an effect on what we have to pay for our money. All of those things are, are not helping the customer. Helping the customer is what Barry insists the company will do under his tenure. And he says he hopes consumers will get a better understanding of VEPCO. So, uh, I think what we're trying to do is improve uh, the public's understanding of, of our operations and what our problems are and what we're trying to do to solve them.